For millennia, Madison's Four Lakes have provided resources, food, and a home to the thousands of people who have lived and settled nearby. And as time has passed, a lot of that history has been preserved just beneath the water surface. With modern technology, what was once forgotten and lost to time is closer now than ever before. Ward Jollis dives in. You never know what you're going to find out here. There aren't a whole lot of people that know Lake Mendota like Rick Kruger. Out here, there's just, there's stuff all over the place. On any given year, Rick will go out on the lake more than a hundred times. He's on the hunt for history. You're looking for anything that's out of the ordinary. With special equipment and underwater cameras, Rick has discovered more than 70 shipwrecks, cars, and other structures, all part of a rich history hidden beneath the surface. You just start running a search pattern back and forth, back and forth, and uh, when you see something, you mark a waypoint, and then you go see what it is, and then just keep going. This is where the What's called the habitat is located. It's data that divers like Tamara Thompson can use in their research. She's the archaeologist who unearthed a Ho Chunk dugout canoe last year that dated back to 800 AD. There's a few features that are on the bottom here. There's an underwater experiment station. So it's a three-man habitat, which has been abandoned. You heard that right, an underwater research module that was commissioned by UW-Madison in the 70s. Also down here are um, two cars. And then also in deeper water, we have um, just a little motorboat, uh, which has been abandoned. So it's sort of a little underwater park right here in Lake Mendota. And that's just a few hundred square feet of lake floor. With modern 3D imaging technology, they're able to bring some of the thousands of artifacts on the lake floor to life at our fingertips. I'm trying to make a 3D model of it. Um, so I go around it, I get a bunch of pictures and videos of, from all different angles. And then there's a program out there that'll take all those pictures and make a 3D model of it. Those 3D models allow online users to explore the spaces on their own and in virtual reality. You're retired now, do you ever see yourself stopping? No. And it's another excuse for divers like Tamara and Rick to keep looking. There's a lot of stuff that is waiting to be found. You know, I can go back out there right now and find something that would be really an awesome find, or you might find absolutely nothing. It's the mystery of it all, I guess. In Madison, we're jealous, 27 News. If you're interested in catching a glimpse of history beneath Lake Mendota, all of those 3D models are currently accessible online. You can view the shipwrecks and other landmarks underwater in both standard definition and virtual reality. There's a link on our website.